and welcome to FDS MTG News for Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. Magic 30 is over and you are probably all sick of hearing about it. No? Okay, let's talk about it some more. The event is considered by wizards to be an awesome success and considered by attendees to be a regular success. As an attendee, it had high production quality on the visual elements, but the underlying software was bugged. Many reported damaged merchandise when they picked up their ticket package, and the individual events were being plagued with issues for most of the weekend and many did not start on time. The command zone took up a massive amount of space while remaining empty most of the day on Friday, but to be fair, Friday is traditionally one of the slower days of most conventions, as well as Friday being the Command Zone Live event that probably took many who purchased Command Zone access away from the space for a large portion of the day. Thankfully on Saturday, the organizers came to their senses and commandeered a large portion of the empty Command Zone for free play space, which was cool. But other than that, for me, it was a fantastic time. I got to meet some subscribers, Kyle Hill and Mark Rosewater. Why is that magic news? It's not. My wife is just tired of hearing about it, so I thought I would share with all of you. The Brothers War spoilers are in full swing with some major highlights being Disciple of Kallus Nin, four and a white for a human wizard creature that is a 3-4. When Disciple of Kallus Nin enters the battlefield, starting with you, each player chooses up to five permanents they control. All permanents other than Disciples of Kallus Nin that weren't chosen this way phase out. Permanents can't phase in. Root Path Purifier. Three and a green for an elf druid creature that is a 3-4. Lands you control and land cards in your library are basic. I like this card. And finally, we have Rescue Retriever. Yeah, I know there are more, but you can go check them out on Scryfall or Mythic Spoilers if you want a more curated experience. We finally know more about the goodest boy in magic. It's a three and two white for a dog soldier creature that is a 3-3. Three, three. It has flash. When Rescue Retriever enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each other soldier you control. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to other attacking soldiers you control. This card is going into every deck I own, even the mono black ones. Why? Don't ask stupid questions. I want the original art for this card. I mean, seriously, I know that dog. I've owned that dog. I love that dog. Look at that face. Look at it, it's so cute! The Heruya MTG Twitter account announced on November 7th that Kazuyuki Takimura, the winner of Pro Tour Battle for Zendikar, has passed away. No details at this time explaining the cause of death, Kazuyuki Takimura also placed fifth at Pro Tour Dominaria in 2018 in Richmond, as well as placing in the top eight of multiple Grands Prix, including winning Grand Prix Kyoto in 2016 in a team limited event, according to MTG Wiki. Our hearts are with their family and friends at this time. On November 1st, the Magic 30 Countdown Secret Layer was available for a few minutes. As predicted by many, the MTG-themed advent calendar sort of thing sold out very quickly and probably would have sold quicker if the site didn't have so much trouble handling all the very much expected traffic. Some users were receiving errors during checkout and tried again, only to find out later that they purchased more than one of the secret layers. They did receive an email later on asking if they wanted each of those copies of individual purchases purchases of the secret layers. There was a limit of how many you could purchase to hold off scalpers, except the limit was 30. Yeah, that'll stop the scalpers. Cause I know personally I wanted to get this for myself, but also a copy for 29 of my closest family and friends. Magic Con Philadelphia is coming on February 17th through the 19th, 2023. This is the next big magic event and more details will be revealed on November 10th during the weekly MTG stream. Interestingly, when the Magic 30 event was initially announced back in summer, a mention was made of a second Magic 30 event happening in North Carolina in February. It sounds as if that isn't happening now. Apparently, we'll find out more on Thursday. That about does it for today. Like, subscribe, follow me on TikTok and Twitter. You also can find me wherever you get your podcasts and y'all have a wonderful day. Guess I'm keeping that and click on stuff. Hello and welcome to FDS MTG News for November 8th. The Brothers War Sp Many reported damaged merchandise damaged merchandise But to be fair, it was Friday to just But to feet to feet to feet fair for freeze fee for fee for fee all permanents other than disciple of Callus Nin that weren't chosen this way fail fail out <laughs> they fail out they just fail out fail out of the Academy of Latinam they're they're done they're just dumb. This show is part of the CIP Network, inspiring creativity, one episode at a time.